everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fives of Bills, babe. Hashtag Fives of Bills. Today, we've got nine PC mods in testing. We've got 30 console mods in testing. Well, those some mods were released today, but I'm making this video right when they're releasing. Model company Revell teased a new Porsche coming with Farm Sim 22. Agritolno shows progress on their F350 update. Adams Kong is bringing a Toyota Hilux into the game. Black G Modding have posted some more screenshots of their new Baylor pack. Peter J Modding's got a new version of the Massey 1200. Solutions Modding show off more progress Progress on their quad. Cola Modding's MB truck is in game. Plus, GB Modding's adding a park is almost here. Let's check it out. In test T4 PC, we have the 980K Will Loader, Case IH Luxum, John Deere T560 Carpet, Large Machine Shed, Machinery Shed, Mazavica and Zena V2, Styrcase 900ER Series, Urea Separator, and Wayside Cross. In test T4 consoles, we have the Fortuna FTM 207.5, a set of fences for your map, Animal Statue, Bridge Pack, Formid Care Tech DG3, Faxenal Map, Flexible Silo Extensions, Hilux. 1982, John Deere 7000 series, Lizard 3T, Lizard ESN 13 Cultivator, Lizard FS62, Lizard Con, Lost Valley, Farming Simulator 22 Luminous Poster, Massey Ferguson 1200 and 1250, Massey Ferguson 3105 Phantom, Massey Ferguson 9407S, Massey Ferguson 398, The Non Massey Ferguson Modern Mansion, Old Cattle Trailer, Pack of 10 Metal Sheds, Pallet Shop Rack, Placeable Brand Logos, Raul Onyx, Russell Mash Acros 595, Russell Mash DP, RZHT 4 m Small Wooden Chicken Coop, and Storage Barn. With all that being said, we still have seven mods city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is still, as always, one workday. At the time of recording this video, mods have just started to release, so I'm going to go ahead and do the news video, and then I will be working on the new mod video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that. Starting off with today's top stories, it's some Something very interesting that popped up over the weekend, the model company Revell released this model, the Porsche Diesel Junior 108. Included with this model is a code to get the same tractor in Farming Simulator 22 once it is released. And you can imagine that the community went absolutely crazy with finding out this information. I mean, come on, not only getting a Porsche tractor in Farm Sim 22, but also a model company doing it? This is very unique and very different, and I have confirmed that this is a real thing and will be happening. I was able to reach out to Giant Software to get some additional information on this, and they had this to say. Giants are working with Reveal and Porsche, but don't have anything to announce regarding the current partnership at this time. So, meaning exactly that. They're working together, but this is nothing official to announce, at least this time. We just know that this is the thing that will happen. I would imagine that this tractor was posted probably a little bit earlier than Giants would have wanted, since the product page has already been taken down. This doesn't mean that this is a one-of-a-kind thing, nor does it mean that this is going to happen any other time. My best advice right now is to not read too much into this and go past the surface. There's a tractor, it's a model, it's a Porsche, and if you buy the model, you get the tractor in Farm Sim 22. The model does cost around 27 bucks, and I'm sure it's going to be back up on their website once everything with Giants is worked out. I want to thank Simulation for the Nation, Virtual Farmer, and Matt26 also for grabbing all of the screenshots yesterday and this morning, sharing them with the community. Those are the ones that you guys have been seeing here. Check them all out, linked below. Making our way into modern news for today, we got to start with Agritolno working on an update to their F350. They started this about two weeks ago, and today we got our first screenshots of it. And as you can see, they're going with a big refresh of this mod, not only with new wheels, tires, but the body and decals and more. If you remember the big overhaul of the Skerrick that went through, what, like a year or two ago? This is kind of what that reminds me of. It looks based off of a newer F350. Once completed, it's going to be updated to the existing version on ModHub. What do you think of this new and improved version? I'm all in. On the testing list today, you probably saw a Hilux, and your eyes and ears did not deceive you either. Adams Kong, creator of the AW and Beetle and the A5000 pack, is working on another new truck for your farm. The Toyota Hilux is known for being one of the most capable and strong pickup trucks out there. You may have even seen it on Top Gear episodes where they tried to destroy one, or even took the newer version to the North Pole. These trucks are insanely reliable and tough. Anyways, Adam's Cog, he's bringing one into the game for all platforms, titled the Hilux 1982, as the model's based off of, of course, 1982 version. As you can see it here, it's going to be available in a few different configurations, from a smaller farm truck, regular pickup, and a closed pickup, and a work truck. 
You'll even be able to add a snorkel. I would say that, uh, I'm gonna say this, the work chart does look very similar to the A2 Studio model for the TLX 2020, but we're just gonna have to wait and see it once it's released. Last week, Black Sheep Monic announced that they will be bringing a new set of mods into the game for Working Bells, the Quadro Pro Baler Pack, which is gonna include a baler with an optional 14 meter windrow, and it is going to be available in Fit, Challenger, Massey, and New Holland. Also included with the pack is going to be the Quadro Pro Baler, which is going to attach to the baler and stack four square bells high to make collecting easier for a telehander or something like that. In the new picks that we've gotten today, you can see the machine working in the fields collecting grass bells. This is going to be a game changer for those of you that love doing bells but would like to operate in a more efficient way. This new baler may not change the way you farm, but it's going to certainly make it easier, and I'm probably going to use this baler in all my gameplay going forward. Yes! is for all platforms, and yes, I'm very excited about this. Peter J. Monning shows off another version of the Massey Ferguson 1200-1250, this one with a logging setup, equipped with front blade, cabin protection, and some sort of attachment or protection grid on the back. This tractor is currently with Giants in testing for console, meaning it has already passed PC testing, and once it passes console testing, will be released. Could you use a big Massey like this in your logging setup? Last week, Slusha's Mining teased us with the modeling of a new ATV. And today, we get to see that ATV with the completed model, the Bear Quad 4x4. Slusha's Mining says that the model is done, and they still have to do textures and to get it in-game. These guys are no strangers to off-road vehicles. As a matter of fact, they've got a few other ones in-game already. Their buggy cart, which released a few months ago, and the cross, which was just released on Friday, and the tricycle king trike. It's always great to see something new like this being worked on for Farm Sim 19. It also appears to have a three-point hitch or something similar on the side and on the back as well, which is going to make it easier for moving stuff around your farm if you need to. Agrotono does have something similar to this, the TRA quadricycle, and if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do that as well. Over the past few months, we've been showing off the MB truck that Cola Modding has been working on, and today we finally get to see it in-game. This truck is going to be available in four different models, the L1318, the L1620, 1620 Classic, and the L1620 Electric. Tons of work has gone into this truck, and it is really great to see it in-game with the lighting. Looks awesome. I'm really excited about this truck. Additionally, Cola Modding has some new information on one of their older projects that we haven't seen in a while, the John Deere 1175 Combine Harvester. They say that soon after the MB truck is released for all platforms, it's going to be continuing work on this project. And lastly today, GB Modding says that their map adding in Park did fail testing today, but has already been fixed and resubmitted for testing. Adding in Park is an absolutely gorgeous map based in the UK, and we were lucky enough and very fortunate to be able to show you guys this map and do a first look video on it. It's got three farms, five different viable farm areas, tons of fields, lands, and things to do. And of course, just like every GB Modding map, it has a story to go along with it to help you get started and find your way on the map. You can find all the details of the map in that first look video, which I will have linked below. And big shout out to 4B Gaming, who did his first ever live stream yesterday. Went over 11 hours. We were speedrunning Farm Sim 19, and it took a little bit longer than we thought. I even passed out a couple hours in. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. The release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Also, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be doing the Manu mod video right after this one. Lane's still up there asleep. I got to get him to the airport in a few hours. So hopefully I can get that done before then. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Sunglasses are in the other room, so today we have cowbell eyes. Yeah!